Hello everyone, it is currently 8 p.m. which means that I'm gonna be showing you guys my night routine. In case you didn't know, I'm a child of the internet and that just means that I have done YouTube since I was nine years old and that is not an exaggeration. So about three months ago, I was like, you know what? I wanna try to get a full-time job. Now that I have been working for a couple months, I've seen what it's like to not have the entire day to yourself. I actually have responsibilities. I actually have a boss. I have people I answer to. I now have a routine in place for the most part. I kinda do the same thing every single night. I'm living alone because my husband's on tour. So the first thing that I do, which I'm about to do right now, is clean up my house. I'm the type of person where I leave everything for the end of the day. So basically, if I have laundry, if I have dishes, if I leave my shoes out, if I leave something in the bathroom, like I just leave it and then at the end of the day, I have this like end of night cleaning routine that I really love to do. So that's generally, I would say the first thing that I do when I start winding down for the night and it's kind of changed my life, TBH, because I used to be a really, really messy person and marrying Emin, not only because he has OCD, but just because he grew up in a cleaner household than me, he, taught me to sort of just clean every night and it wasn't something I used to do. I used to kind of just clean my room every few weeks or even months and I would wait until stuff was really, really dirty to actually clean it, like until I absolutely had to. But nowadays, I don't do that and I have this little thing that I do and it really is a game changer. So if you're having issues with being messy, I would highly recommend putting on some music. Alexa, play my dream all-time low set list on Spotify. My dream all-time low set list in order from Spotify. Just spending 10 minutes, even 20 minutes, every single night, clean your kitchen and clean your living room. It doesn't have to be a deep clean of your entire house if you don't want to, if you don't have time, but at least do those two things. And then when you wake up in the morning, especially if you live in a small apartment like me, you will feel the difference. Okay, I just realized I have to run to Trader Joe's, like soup, literally sprint to Trader Joe's because, I don't know if it's just me, I have fallen out of grocery shopping. I haven't been to the grocery store in probably a month. I had like a phase of postmating every meal, which cost me a lot of money. And then I Instacarted groceries like three times and I just can't do it anymore. I really want Trader Joe's stuff. Like it's the cheapest stuff. It's awesome. It's great. And they don't offer it on Instacart or any of those delivery services. So I'm like, okay, I have to just go, even though I really don't want to. Norman, go place. Anyway, I need to put a pause on my cleaning and just run to the store to get some stuff because it literally closes in 30 minutes. And I'm gonna come back and finish my cleaning. Okay, I'm back home. I got a shit ton of stuff because like I said, I just have not been to the grocery store and it was kind of expensive. It was like $70, which usually when I go to Trader Joe's, it's like 40 or 50 because it's just so damn cheap there. And also like a couple months ago, I got into a massive cooking phase, like right before I got my job, I think cause I was just so bored all the time. So I was cooking every meal, but now that I have a job, I'm just like tired and don't want to cook. So I got a bunch of frozen stuff and that just kind of makes it more expensive. Like I was getting a lot more produce and that is way cheaper than buying like actual foods, if that makes sense. Like point is, let me show you what I got. This is a Caprese ravioli, which why the hell did they give me like two raviolis? I don't know. Frozen gnocchi, carrot, cucumber, avocado, seaweed, and salmon, which are basically the ingredients for the food that I eat every single day, which you will know what it is if you follow me on Instagram. Mango jicama slaw. It just looked really good. It's mango jicama slaw with a lime mango vinaigrette. It just sounded good to me. And then I also got this Mediterranean style orzo pasta salad. An onion, I got limes. I got a lemon. I got almond milk, which is to make my oatmeal with. I got some ramen because I've been eating a lot of ramen recently it's just really like I said everything I get is just really easy to cook and you know throw together really quick and then I got some pickles because I love pickles frozen vegetable spring rolls and some more frozen fruit so I got a bunch of stuff Alexa I need to pause the video really quick to tell you guys about today's sponsor, which is Blue Land. So just pause in your mind, think about what I was doing a second ago and just picture it and hold on to it for the next like minute and a half, okay? You've probably heard me talk about Blue Land before, but I have loved them for many years because they're doing this really cool thing where they sell body wash, hand wash, cleaning products, all kinds of stuff, and they sell it in forever bottles instead of single use plastic. So traditionally, for example, you buy body wash and you get a bottle, you use it up, you throw it away, and then you buy another plastic bottle. And the cycle just continues forever. 
forever. Well, Blue Land is ending the cycle. They're stopping the cycle right now because when you buy their body wash, you get this bottle and when you run out of body wash, you simply order more product that comes in a little paper packet. Super sustainable, super easy to do and understand. All you have to do is empty out the packet into the bottle filled with water and then you shake it, you let it sit for an hour and then it magically turns into body wash. So you don't have to keep buying new bottles over and over and over again. You just buy these little packets of product anytime you run out. They have a really wide variety of products and scents and they're all super high quality, they work. And of course they're all super sustainable. So I really love it. I think that you guys will love it too. So if you wanna try the Blue Land body wash or really anything from Blue Land, use my link below and you will get 20% off your first Blue Land purchase. Now, do you remember what I was doing a minute ago. Because if you still remember, we're coming back to it. Back to the night routine. Ready? Three, two, one. I just finished cleaning my kitchen. I put most of my stuff away. I definitely missed a couple things, but it's fine. I'm gonna take a shower now. I don't always shower at night, but I'm feeling it right now because I'm gonna be real with you guys, I kind of stink. I normally let my dog in the room when I shower, but I feel like he's obsessed with me and he needs to calm down, so I'm just doing a little healthy separation. I'm kind of nervous because I keep sleeping like really bad, like awfully every single night for the past almost a week. I go to sleep and then I notice that number one, it's really hard to fall asleep. Like it takes me like an hour. And then also I've been waking up in the middle of the night. I'll be sleeping on my side, which is how I always sleep. And I'll wake up in the middle of the night, super uncomfortable. And I'll fall back asleep on my back. I've been going on TikTok a lot recently, especially right before I go to bed. And like, that's not super normal for me. And I did get in the habit of drinking tea and then reading before I went to bed. And I haven't done that in like a few weeks. So I think maybe if I read and then go to sleep and don't go on TikTok. Like, I think I'm just not gonna go on TikTok until I wake up tomorrow or whatever. I think my phone is like really, really fucking with my sleep schedule. <laughs> it's, it's really upsetting. I don't know how to explain it to you guys. I'm sure you know the feeling, but it's like, I want to get off my phone. Like, I wanna get off TikTok. I wanna stop scrolling. I don't wanna look at Instagram because my eyes hurt or my brain hurts or I'm overwhelmed or whatever, but then I just do it. Like, I can't rip myself away from it. My brain won't allow me to do it. And so I just keep scrolling and I keep watching and then before I know it, I'm like laying there for hours just watching TikToks, which sucks, you know? So I think that's a huge part of my problem. And I also think that I partially do that because I'm kind of sad about Emin, you know? Like I miss him and it gets really lonely. Like even though you hang out with friends and you leave the house or whatever, like getting used to being married and then getting used to not being married basically is a huge adjustment. It's not sad. Like I don't cry every day. I'm not depressed. It's like fine. And honestly, I enjoy being alone a lot now and it's made me appreciate myself a lot more, but it's just, there are days where I spend a lot of it in bed when I'm not working because I'm just kind of lonely and I just go on my phone because you want to connect with the outside world, you know? I don't know. Right now it's about nine o'clock. I still have a couple more things left on my night routine. So the video is not over yet at all, but I'm gonna put some music on. I'm gonna take a shower and I'm gonna get the other stuff done that I usually do for my night routine. And then I'm going to go to sleep without touching my phone. Okay? Okay, I just took a shower and now I'm gonna do my very light skincare routine. I'm kind of living out of a suitcase slash like toiletry bags right now because I'm literally going to visit Emin in like four days. Today's Tuesday and on Friday, I'm going to the airport and I'm going to Nashville. He's doing a show in Atlanta and so I'm going to fly to Nashville. I'm gonna see Emin's side of the family and I'm gonna see my side of the family. I'm going to drive down with Emin's family to go see his show in Atlanta, which I'm I'm so excited for because he's basically playing for this festival called Sad Summer and it's like, uh, it was kind of supposed to be like a replacement for Warped Tour sort of if you know what that is or what that was. But it's basically just like a pop punk festival. It's gonna be a really fun weekend. But I'm like, why the hell would I unpack all of my stuff if I'm just gonna pack it up again on Friday, you know? So now it's time for honestly my favorite part of the night and when I travel, I don't get to do this so it kind of makes me sad. I started having tea about, I don't know, a couple months ago, right around when I got my job. I had all these life changes that I kind of started implementing. And one of them was making tea every night. And this is because, I don't remember what it was that triggered this memory, but I one day randomly remembered that when I was really young, I used to be obsessed with tea. It was like one of my favorite things when I was like, eight years old. What I do every single night, I have a melatonin tea, like a chamomile melatonin type tea, or like a sleepy time tea. So these are my two favorites. This one is sleepy time by Celestial Seasoning. But then this one I like better because it has melatonin in it. So this one is chamomile mint melatonin. That's Those are like the three things in it. And this is the ultimate way to end your night. I'm convinced. It just really makes you think 
it's bedtime, especially if it's a melatonin tea. And you guys wanna hear something else? I took CBD as well because I'm determined to sleep through the night without waking up. I'm getting really sleepy, which is good. Norman, no, that tea's hot. I'm getting really sleepy, but Emin is supposed to call me in a little bit. He's finishing up the first night of performing at this festival and he's already called me like twice today. Oh, hi bud. He's already called me like twice today, which is super abnormal because usually when he's on tour, he's like really, really busy. So I don't know if he misses me or if he's just like trying to call me more or if he's just like not busy right now, but whatever. I'm not complaining about it, it's great. Hey. Can you relax? I don't know if I've told you guys about this. Norman has become extremely clingy. Since Emin went on his like first long trip, I noticed it. He just will not stop touching me and trying to lay with me and talk to me. And it's great, but sometimes it's like a little overwhelming. So I don't know what's up with that. But this is the book I'm reading. It's about bugs. It's called Buzz Sting Bite and Why We Need Insects. And I love it. It's so good. I'm almost done with it. I'm not much of a reader, but I really like reading about this kind of stuff. So I'm going to drink my tea. I'm going to read my book and I'm going to go to sleep and then I'm going to work tomorrow. So thanks for coming along with me for my night routine. I love you guys and I will see you hopefully in a week. Bye.